Hello students, welcome to study life. Today, let us talk about embryo sac formation. Now, embryo sac formation is an event of pre-fertilization, right? Now, you know how pollen grains are formed, right? Now, let us understand how embryo sac is formed. Now, in megasporogenesis, what did you learn? In our previous videos, you have seen it. What did you learn in megasporogenesis? You clearly learned that there are four megaspores that are formed and out of them one megaspore is functional. Now this one megaspore or the functional megaspore is what is very important in the formation of the embryo sac. So you all know there is one functional megaspore. So this one functional megaspore, okay, so I can say the nucleus in the functional megaspore undergoes mitosis and forms two more nucleus. So one nucleus is now actually divided into two. So you have a two nucleate megaspore, right? It is a two nucleate phase. So I'm just having one small diagram, small nucleus, I have a small nucleus. Now this small nucleus is now becoming two nucleus when it undergoes what? Mitosis, when it undergoes mitosis. Now these two nucleus, what is going to happen? Let's talk about it. Once this two nucleus gets divided, now let us talk what happens with these two nucleus these two nuclei, then in the megaspore, they hold on to the opposite ends. They move towards the opposite ends. The two nucleus moves towards opposite ends. So I can say two nucleus moves towards opposite ends. Now, once this two nucleus moves in the opposite ends, this you get here, what? A two nucleate, a two nucleate megaspore. So, I can just write here a two nucleate megaspore or a two nucleate cell. Then what happens? Then again, they undergo mitosis. Not once, but twice. Now, what happens? when it undergoes mitosis again twice. When it undergoes mitosis twice, now what happens is, you had one nucleus, that nucleus became two. Now the two nucleus are positioned. Now again they undergo mitosis. Now once they undergo mitosis, two is going to become four. And obviously then four is going to become what? Eight. So finally I have eight nucleuses here. Understood kids? So, first the nucleus went to undergo mitosis. It became 2. We had a 2 nucleate phase. Then it became 4 again going through mitosis. We had a 4 nucleate phase. This is a 4 nucleate phase. And then it again undergo mitosis and forms a 8 nucleate megaspore. So, this is the 8 nucleate megaspore or 8 nucleate phase. Right kids? So what we have, these are the cell divisions happening here. First once, then again, then again, three times mitosis. So two cells becomes four, four cells becomes eight. Now out of these eight cells, what happens is six of the nucleus, they form cell walls and they get organized well in this mega spore. Okay, six nucleus, they form their own cell wall and they get organized. Okay, how do they get organized? Let us see. So what happens is I said six nucleus, right? So let us have Okay, now here what's going to happen is you have six nucleus that is going to form what? 
that is going to form what that is going to form your cell walls so six nucleus is going to form cell wall around them so let us have cell walls okay and then here also i'll draw one okay so how many nucleuses are here one is inside this one is inside this and one is inside this and there are two nucleus here and there are three more outside and they have one cell wall around them okay now six nucleus they formed cell wall when i say six nucleus you can see one two three four and five i have made six groups one two three four five and six right so now they form their cell walls and they get organized now they are organized now they have been divided into two ends you can see clearly there are two ends right right now what do we call these cells now obviously we need the labeling here so the center here is called as the central cell it is the central cell okay now here the two that is in the outer part are called as the synergids the synergids and the middle one is known as the egg the middle one is known as the egg now these three here are known as the antipodals these three here are known as the antipodals and the two nucleus that is inside the central cell you can see clearly they are called as the polar nuclei they are called as the polar nuclei so in all i have eight cells here out of that three they are in the upper part one of them is the egg and the other two are synergids then the lower part you have the antipodals and two in the center that is your polar nuclei now let us reverse or let us just invert this image to understand this properly once i invert this image what happens is you get a cell that looks like this here you have the three cells first then you have the other cells ka body you have the body here obviously i need the synergids so i have the synergids and that is the egg here okay what is missing the central cell is still missing so let us have the central now this is how the entire the entire megaspore is going to look once the embryo sac is formed so technically this is how the cells form their cell wall and they organize themselves okay so i have the nucleuses here these are the three cells up these three cells again i'm saying i'm inverting i'm making this image upside down when i make this upside down i have this image so these antipodals are here so i can say these are the anti portals right this is the central cell obviously you have the polar nuclei here these are the polar nuclei obviously here these are your synergids these are your what synergids right then what is remaining polar nucleus synergies antipodal zeta label everything so this is how the ultimate embryo sac is formed now so my kids this structure here the structure here again i am mentioning you clearly had eight nucleus and you had only seven cells so we can call this structure as eight nucleate and seven cell structure right the structure has eight nucleuses but there are only seven cells 
okay kids so obviously now let us just go through this diagram again what you have is you have the antipodals in the upper part and the synergies in the lower part the central part is or the central cell is made up of the polar nuclei i have not mentioned one name here you can clearly see one of the cell is missing that is your egg cell right now so if we keep on saying that the upper part the lower part how will you understand how is the positioning how is the positioning of this embryo sac in the pistil right you should know that now in pistil you all know there are two different ends one a lower end and one an upper end again a confusion the lower end actually we actually call the lower end as the chalazal end and the upper end as a micropylar end where the micropyle is located now the chalazal end is the end from where the integuments originate so let us understand in this diagram this antipodals the antipodals they actually are directed towards the chalazal end they are directed towards the chalazal end from where the integuments originate then obviously if the antipodals are on the chalazal end the synergids should be or the egg should be towards the opposite of chalazal is your micropylar end is your micropylar end now i clearly mentioned you that this diagram is inverted here that is it is upside down here so obviously here the upper i am mentioning here it is my micropylar end and this here kids is my chalazal end so now let us understand what happens here we have one nucleus from that one mega spore that is functional we take that nucleus that nucleus undergoes mitosis we get two nucleus now this two nucleus goes in the opposite direction and gets attached in this way so that we call this as a two nucleate phase that is the two nucleus are in the opposite direction now mitosis happens again and again two times so from here we get four cells and from here we get eight cells now after this eight cells something happens what happens the nucleus are arranged right what happens here the six nucleus are surrounded by cell wall the six nucleus are surrounded by cell walls and are organized by cells forming the female gametophyte forming the female gametophyte forming the female gametophyte so what's happening once we have the eight nucleus out of that now six nucleus they get surrounded with a cell wall and they get organized into the cells forming what the female gametophyte that is my embryo sac right so my embryo sac looks like this where i have three cells we call them as antipodals and opposite to them we have two synergids and one egg cell and there are two nuclei called as a polar nuclei which is situated centrally so this is the formation of embryo so my kids now we know how the pollen grains are formed now we know how the embryo sacs are formed now we will learn what is pollination that how the pollen grains actually they reach here and once they reach here how those gametes get fertilized and then what happens with the fertilized gamete that is i got we need to learn all these topics so to understand each and every topic well stay tuned to study live thank you